Horikoshi, at this point, what even is the tone anymore? Thank you to our final patrons, Strawbones and Aaron. Now, before we hop into this breakdown slash live reaction to chapter 366 of My Hero Academia, please go ahead and leave your own list on the chapter in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do have a Patreon down below. You can for as low as $1 a month. You can get exclusive videos, early content, and more. Now, let's hop into... The live reaction. What's up, guys? I'm the Punchy Here we are to do a live reaction to chapter 366 of My Hero Academia, which is known as Peach. I think everyone knows why it's called Peach. Even though this is my first time reading the chapter, even I know why it's called Peach. And I once again ask Horikoshi. What story are we writing right now, my man? Hmm? Hmm? This, this is your high stakes, top of the line, final battle. With someone lying half somewhat alive on the ground. And we do this. With your tragic character. Who was just so blessed to get his quirk back. This is what he's been reduced to. Hmm. I mean, I have the hammer. I'm prepared to denote worthiness if I see it. Of course, the blade is also right there, and it can be drawn at any moment. I won't see. Enough stalling. Enough hesitation. Let's hop right into it. At any rate, ready. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Kamala Shigaraki's body will morph into the optimal shape. <clears throat> Cornered by the relentless assault of the heroes, his passion for destruction gave birth to a swollen cluster of fingers, ideal for inflicting devastation while shielding him from any threat. I suppose. I guess that's a way to put it. Whole bunch of hands. Interesting. However, the heroes prevailed. How the... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> whatever, 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 whatever. Another video for another time. Whatever. With the erasure rendering regeneration impossible, the accumulated damage in addition to the mental state he has endured, don't shoot Rocky to the brink. At that point, his body... Okay. Can someone... Can someone explain to me how it feels like incomplete Shigaraki... While Quirkless still, mind you, while Quirkless is better than the completed one. Is it just because of the meat puppet thing? Is it really just because of the meat puppet thing? Because this seems like a downgrade. Like, at least I can give original War Arc Shigaraki a pass. Because he was getting punched in the mouth while Quirkless by 100% smashes over and over and over again. On top of getting roasted alive by Endeavor, on top of other attacks, on top of a whole ton of stuff, while being incomplete. I can give him that. But um we aren't we aren't with incomplete Shigaraki anymore. This is this is it. This is the final form. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've been building up to. But because of his mental state and damage that the heroes had been doing to him, which he shouldn't, which, <sighs> I always say this every time I talk about My Hero Academia and how it's, like, um, weird with Shigaraki, but, like, once again, as he says himself so often, do, do we really think Prime All Might would be taken down by stuff like this? Do we? Do we really? Does that seem, that, does that seem like a truth? Do we think Prime All Might, if he had taken all this damage, would be in a similar state to Shigaraki? That the heroes would have been able to do something like this? The Prime All Might? Yes, me, no. <laughs> Stars and Stripes couldn't do something like this. But Bakugo, Tamaki, Nejire, 
and Maruko. We're able to do this. That's a less and weaker heroes than the original war on a stronger Shigaraki in the exact same circumstances, except somehow Shigaraki has taken more damage here when he is complete. Make it make sense. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems weird to me. It just seems weird to me. I don't I can't I can't logic a way around that. It just seems like bad writing. It seems like bad, inconsistent writing. And you just you made a mistake in making them too strong and having all these extra characters here. So you wanted to do something with these extra characters, but to do that you had to compromise all the buildup. Which now makes incomplete Shigaraki seem way more ominous, threatening, and powerful than supposedly complete Shigaraki. That sucks, because he's our final villain. And I feel so sad saying that Shigaraki being our final villain sucks, but it's not really Shigaraki. It's a weird triple team, maybe who knows with the bodies growing out, quadruple team of Tenko, who's now a separate personality, Shigaraki, and all for one, I guess. Because this is your peak. This is this is this is your best new gen. Hmm? 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 While well, JJK is right there. Hmm? Hmm? While well, Blue Lock is right there. Hmm? Hmm? While well, Sakamoto Days is right there. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's move on to the next page. All right. Evolved to its apex form. What the heck? Evolved into its apex form. Perfectly crafted to the threat he's face. Okay, so the I remember all the speculation that was coming out about like the uh, family coming back and like being separate vessels. <laughs> I guess that's nothing. I guess they're just hands, more hands. Which I guess once again it it fits into the whole idea of the hands being a restraining implement put on by All for One so you could control Shigaraki easier. So I guess it works. If this is supposed to be the perfect meat puppet for All for One, which is essentially what Shigaraki is supposed to be. I don't care what Horikoshi is trying to retcon it into. What he's trying to retcon of the retcon, which is still <laughs> so stupid. Like, well, I, All for One saying, oh yeah, I want to pass it all on to Shigaraki. That's a lie. No, there's no need to lie. So, meat puppet Shigaraki, I suppose his ultimate, his apex, would be hands. Even though we had a whole arc about him breaking free of the hands and how they were nothing and how they were actually limiters as they were established to be. We had a whole arc of him getting away from those. Guess not. <laughs> Plot twist. No. That, that's the real truth. That's the real truth. <sighs> and how does this handyman form make him perfectly suited to deal with? The threats he's faced. Hands. <laughs> Hands. It'd be one thing if he was covered in, like, carrots and armor. Like, our fingernails. They're, like, we don't feel... Like, you can punch your fingernail all you want. You may feel pain in your finger beneath it. But your nails are fine. So, if, like, he developed chick... Chick? I don't even sure what I was going to say there. Thick sheets of keratin as if to make a natural armor. Or even, really, pull a Kimimaru and, like, have bones grow out of him and harden further and become like extremely dense armor like essentially your femur multiplied a whole bunch of times all over your body that would make sense but this is essentially just more flesh i mean i get it it's likely a bit more concentrated than the giant hand which works out i think the uneven balance of the giant hand was kind of stupid but still this doesn't seem like an apex form if if i feel like if i'm just sitting here off the top of my head thinking of better ways that the body could adapt to defend itself from external damage using things that are in the body i wouldn't think hands though admittedly i do understand why the hands are being used here on a thematic level because this is shigaraki restrained despite him being at his apex because of all for one i really need to make that all for one rule in the narrative video we'll talk about that another time Hey, Maruko, how are you still alive? <laughs> You're my favorite female character in the entire show, but how are you still alive? <laughs> but okay, let's see. Oof! Oof! He got thick! He got thick! Look at the girth on that boy! But is that it? Is that finally... Are we finally done? <laughs> and I feel so bad, like, I love Maruko, but... Darn, did it not make sense. So I'll take it, I'll take it. Smash, okay. Oh, that is kind of cool, though. You know, Smash is all my, the strength of all that. 
I see what he did there. I see what he did there. Okay, okay. I see it. I see it. I see it. Mirko. Mirko. So I'm so not used to saying Mirko, but I am used to saying that the like button is free and so is the subscribe button. So I greatly appreciate if you hit both of those. Thank you. However, yeah, she got slobber not. Mirio, Tamaki, they're reacting. Okay, so Mirio's reacting to Maruko and Tamaki's reacting to Mirio. Interesting. Okay. So they're just trying to pile attacks on at this point, right? Okay. So Nedre goes in to fire one of her spiral rings, hits Shigaraki. Mirio. Okay. Mirio doesn't want her to draw attention to herself because obviously Shigaraki's even more perfect and powerful. And I mean, like, I can't complain. Like in Dragon Ball, we had super perfect cell. Because whatever. <laughs> so I guess it's fine. Don't do it. Okay. Shigaraki throws up rocks. I guess they hit her. It's so hard to tell from the distance in the strong. But I know just how powerless you are. If it's just me, he won't look any he won't even look at it anymore. <laughs> See, like all this tragedy behind Mirio, the the one thing I'll give Horikoshi, even if it is slight, it is that he did justify one of my biggest fears before Mirio popped back up. I was wondering, if you are going to bring Mirio back into the narrative, how are you going to do it? He's not strong enough. Bro could not beat Overhaul, a regular dude for the most part. How do you expect him to deal with these higher level, super crazy, high end, no move threats? Like, what did you really expect him to do? So Horikoshi compensated by having him use Nedre's abilities and Nedre's strength to complement his power. I like that. And I like that Horikoshi is acknowledging the fact that Mirio, even after coming back, even after rushing his character arc, even after doing all that, is worthless within the narrative without any power. Because he just doesn't have it. He wasn't built for it. So this tragedy behind Mirio's character is really, really good. But we all know what's coming. We all know. Let's keep moving. Don't try to fix what someone broke. Yeah, okay. And then the whole thing, whatever. Let me fix it. Don't try to fix what someone broke. Yeah, um. Weren't you literally the product? I mean, I guess Shigaraki's all about hypocrisy. Whatever. Let's see. Okay, best genius coming in. He protected himself by shifting into a defensive form. Okay. Is that his final form? I don't know, something, like, if you had asked me about quirks, and maybe, like, the first three arcs of My Hero Academia, if you, if you ever asked me, like, do you think you'd be hearing the words final form <laughs> by the end of the series? And I'd be like, no, what the heck, they're like, unless it's, like, a literal transformation quirk, what do you, what do you mean? Like, why would there be, like, multiple forms or blah, 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 or something? Uh. <laughs> but let's see. That's final form. Okay, so Mirio goes into the ground. Best Genius is trying to restrain him. All right. Okay, Mirio gets knocked out of the ground. All right, yeah, Mirio, once again, he just can't do anything. He's too weak. Okay, Best Genius struggling to defend. Tomaki on the ground. Nejere on the ground. Edshot. Is that a shot? I think, oh, no, that's Maruko in it. it. looks like a tree. How did she end up in a tree? Were there trees? Were there trees on the UA thing? How did she end up in a tree? I didn't even know there were trees here. But does this really Muriel become a finer hero than anyone else? How it all ends, sir, and I die. See, like, we're calling back to... Admittedly, I still don't care about Night Eye. Like, I, I don't think anyone really does. They just say, well, that is a good character. Okay, but I'm going back to this point, Mirio's tragedy, and how not I promised him he'd be an amazing hero one day. So it feels like we're spending a lot of this chapter building up Mirio's inefficiency, and maybe something that only he can do to really save the day. We need to lift the electromagnetic barrier just for a moment. 
It'll take two seconds, so please hold on somehow. Okay, so Mandalay's coming in. She's broadcasting. Great. Good to know she's here. Good to know she's using her quirk. I like that. Take two seconds. What? Hey, wait a moment. Two seconds is way too long. Interesting. Once again, fa faster speeds in My Hero Academia has been a thing that's been established for a while, but two seconds, obviously, like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. I suppose in that time frame, Sugar Rocky could escape. Once again, what? I mean, could... I'm sorry, I keep bringing up the Prime All Might thing, but couldn't Prime All Might just punch through the floor? Like, I know the floor rises up, and that's supposed to stop Sugar Rocky from, like, escaping, but... That's through decay, right? Why, why doesn't he just reel back with all the strength in his body and just slam the floor and leave? I don't know. Two seconds is way too long. Mirio. What can I do? How can I? You are powerless. He won't even look at me. Wait, that's not it. I need to attract his attention one way or another. Think how I don't have enough power to pull that off. Mirio, keep smiling. A society without cheer and humor. All right, we see Hulkaraki lunging in. What are we doing, Laura Koshin? What? What are we doing? This. This is. This is it. This is. The end. My Hero Academia. A story with endless potential, amazing characters. Amazing world building. Great tragedies. This is it. This is what it was all building up to. Night Eye's final tragic goodbye to Mirio told him that he was going to be a great hero. And what does this great hero do? But throw it back in front of the hulked up version of the final villain, who is a meat puppet of a previous villain, who happens to have a child inside him. This, this is it, huh? This is what we've done. This is what we've grown to. It was all building up to this. By the way, 
Edshot's dying right now. Legitimately. On on the floor. Perishing. Oh, and Bakugo. <laughs> Bakugo's heart's exploded and his lungs are damaged. And an entire muscular skeletal system is <laughs> in shambles. Right now. This is the tone we're keeping. In our big, bad, final, high stakes, end of the line war. A character who was meant to embody the dangers and sacrifices necessary to be a hero. And the ultimate conclusion to the other half of his already extremely rushed arc in becoming a great hero with the premonition of a man who could see the future. His greatest, biggest contribution in this entire final saga is him throwing it back. This is what we're doing. Well, that's it. I don't even have to read the rest of the chapter. I don't think there's really like. And here's the thing, right? Let me, let me chill out, all right? Like, it's a manga for young boys. It'd be like that when it'd be like that sometimes, you know? Juvenile humor. It doesn't really matter. Who cares? It's it's it it is something that was so outlandish that when I heard of it. On Tuesday. Then I saw the spoilers of it on Wednesday. Then I saw the cleaned up panel for it on Thursday. And when I woke up to record this morning and I saw the detailed memes of it, I think that's when all of my hope for ever taking this story seriously again died. And unlike Bakugo, it doesn't look like it's going to be coming back anytime soon. Except, psych, I lied. If Endeavor dies, you will see me cry live on camera. This is about all I got left. I got one on it. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Liar Academia. It, it, is, it is such a fascinating way to go. I'm just in for the long haul at this point. I just got, I, I just got to see it through, my boy. I got to see it through. So let's see it through, all right? <laughs> let's see it through. <gasps> oh, well, look who it is. It's it's the Sparkle Man and the Handy Man. Whoa, he's whipping and it's black. <gasps> look at him, look at him in all his glory. Basking it, basking it. I knew I'm gonna make a video about how you should remove your main characters from the narrative for a while. Now I'm happy that Midoriya was gone for a while, but cool eye contact moment. <laughs> they literally see eyes to eye, not eye to eye, but you know he's only got one functioning one, so works out. And then we end on a smash. No, no, no. All right, editing me. I'm going to need you to take care of that last couple pages. Because, all right. Overall. I already lit the lightsabers. Like, <laughs> I don't think we'll be lighting this thing anytime soon for this series. Until Endeavor comes back. You may think I'm kidding, but never can save this. No, he can't. He can't save. He can't save all this. But overall, right? I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to think of words. I'm trying to think of how, how can I verbalize this? My uh, my distaste. But I 
I don't know. I'm glad Midori is here. Great. We can have our final big punchy punch. There we go. We know all for one he's going to destroy himself eventually. He doesn't. He's not really a factor in the narrative anymore. In fact, to the point where I think by the time we cut back, he may have like one or two more spats with Endeavor, and then he's going to woo out of existence. And then Endeavor's going to go deal with Dobby. Dobby will be done. I we still have to deal with the whole Uraraka Toga Asui situation, but I personally I don't I don't really care about that. I don't think it's going to resolve in any interesting way. Unless, like, Toga drinks twice his blood and then he makes an army of Shigarakis for some reason. I doubt that. I, don't, I really don't think that's going to happen. At this point, if something that drastic were to happen already, it would have happened in, like, the, uh-oh, the heroes are going to lose moment that we had three-ish chapters ago. When Shigaraki was posing up like this, all for one just reverted, and Dobby had Phoenix revived. Like, <laughs> we have... I, I am... <laughs> I doubt Horikoshi has forgotten, but we haven't even seen that island since Deku left it, what, like, two months ago at this point? If that, maybe more. So I don't think that's much of a uh, point of interest. Art's fire. Art's fire. Don't get me wrong. Still amazing. Like, look at this final panel. It's absolutely nutty. But, I don't know. Yeah, I just can't. Take it seriously. <laughs> However, those are my thoughts. Please send me your thoughts in the comments. Uh, do I have to give it a rating? Uh, five out of ten. There we go. Meme 50 50. Thank you so much for watching. Please, these are my thoughts. Please send me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that little notification bell so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do a Patreon down below. This boy for as little as one dollar a month. Give them like exclusive videos, early content, and more. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is that guy with a marker, <laughs> pencil, <laughs> riding off.